This video is back to the lightning rods 10 kW mid-drive build. I needed to make a decision on what wheel sizes to go with, so to help with that I built some axle stands. Later on the video there will be a few clips of the big block motor being bench tested. The motor has quite a high pitch at high RPM so there is a sound warning for this part. So this week's video on the lightning rods build is a look at the geometry and how it's working with particularly the rear shock and how it looks uh, with a rider sitting on top of it and we can look at several different combinations of front and rear including a 19 inch uh, front and 19 inch rear and a 19 inch front and a 17 inch rear and how that looks um, on the bike in terms of ground clearance and whether I'm going to be smashing the motor into the ground or not. Uh, we're also going to be looking at simulating where foot pegs might go and where that leaves the knee and the leg in terms of comfort. What I've done is rig up a couple of really ghetto style stands here which are just going to take a rod through to simulate where the front axle would go and then there's another one here on the back as well to simulate where the rear axle would go through and then they've just been lifted up to the different heights that would include the rim of the tire sorry the tire and the rim as well. So this is the bike rigged up with my uh, father-in-law helping uh, to be with 19 inch rims front and rear um, so it has a pretty decent clearance to the ground and we have a total of on the compression it's coming out about nine and a half inches and there is quite a lot to play with still because this is still just a temporary bicycle shock um, which is going to be replaced with something a bit more beefy but uh, not bad so far. So this is simulating a combination of still a 19 inch rim and wheel or rim and tire on the front uh, but a 17 inch on the back and it doesn't actually look that different but maybe slightly better geometry on the steering um, and it's still given unloaded uh, a clearance of about 10 and a half inches um, 10 inches down at the bottom um, where the motor is closest to the ground. We're just using this is what it looks like with the knee if I was to put the foot pegs at the level of the bar. I will look to have them sit just above the bottom of where the motor is. I think this will provide a more comfortable riding position for longer rides. So based on how the bike felt on the stand, I'm going to go with the 19 inch front and 17 inch rear wheel combination. I already have the rear hub, so once I sourced a front hub, I'll be getting the wheels built in on the bike. There are a few places that I'm looking at to do this right now. For tyres, I will initially be using the Shinko 244 tyre, and this is pretty much the only DOT approved dual sport that comes in a front rear combination that will really suit the tyre wood that I have available. There is more choice for strictly off-road tyres, but I want to try and get this bike to be road legal, so the Shinko tyres will help there. It was really cool to sit on the bike in a riding position. Could not see any real red flags in terms of the geometry and I was really quite impressed by the performance of the temporary shock that's in place right now. Once the wheels are on though, I'll spec out the suspension length and spring rate for this part. These are just a few clips of the lightning rods motor getting its initial bench tune. There's a load testing rig being built for this motor, which is where the real work starts. It's one thing to have the motor sound good on the bench and another to have it perform good on the road. The testing rig will let us simulate a loaded motor and fine tune the parameters in the ASI controller. This initial work is with a BAC 2000, the BAC 4000 is also being tested. Once all the testing is complete, we'll be looking to make a plug and play kit for the lightning rods motors with the BAC 2000 and BAC 4000. If you want to chat about this project, leave a comment or post on the 100% free high voltage light electric vehicle discord community. Thanks for watching the channel. Cheers.